Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm trying out an eyeshadow palette that is from the drugstore. I'm trying out a palette from LA Girl. It is the nudist eyeshadow palette. This palette retails for $10.99 and you get 12 shades, so that's less than a dollar per shade. Seven of the shades are matte and the remaining five are shimmer shades. So just in this palette, which is nice and thin, good for travel, you are getting a huge mirror. It's the whole one side. Love that. And these shadows are really good sizes. They're pretty big pans. So LA Girl, you can get in Ulta, CVS, and Walmart. There may be some other drug stores that you can get it in, but those are the three most popular where this brand is held. So I wanted to give them a try, and I figured the best bet was to try a neutral palette. They did have some that had some really nice colors, but I wanted to give this a try first. And if this works out, then maybe I will go try some of those crazy colors. So these shadows don't have names. They just, according to the back of this box, are numbered 1 through 12. So I'm just going to get started. I'm going to use my Ipsy L34 Blend Beauty, and I'm going into the shade number 2 to use as my transition shade. My eyelids are already primed. Where I'm gonna keep forgetting to say that. So, Too Faced Shadow Insurance, a dot of concealer, blend it out and set, and that is how I prime my eyelids. Okay, that first shade went on really nice, no issues. I'm gonna get my hair out of my face because it's driving me crazy. Okay, next, using my Morphe M433 has like a rogue hair. I am gonna go into the shade number eight. So it's this light taupey shade and I'm just gonna blend this into my crease and see if I need to build it up at all. Yeah, just a little bit more. Like the pigmentation isn't insane, but it's there and you can build it up however you want. So I feel like this would be a good starter palette to start out using some shades. Also, if you see a way I'm doing something and you think there's a better way for me to do it, please comment and leave that down below, you know, nicely. I am always down to learn more because I'm kind of learning as I'm going. And even sometimes, I, a lot of times I fail. So, any tips or tricks, please let me know. So next, I'm going to use my Beth Bender Beauty Smoky Eye Stencil and my Morphe M506, so it's a little guy. And I'm going to go into the shade number 10. It is a chocolatey brown. And I just want to make a nice straight edge. Oh, I hate this because sometimes I don't angle it right. And then I have to kind of try to clean it up. So I'm just going to go make a nice straight line and then bring it in. Let me get back in. I'm kind of going to the end of my crease and taking it out. And then filling in just that outer corner of my eyelid. And then, so that's a little crazy. I am just going to blend a little bit. But if you don't like how just intense this looks, go back with your first brush or a clean brush and just blend it until it's diffused enough to your liking. All right, I think I'm going to stop messing with it because every time I try to fix it, it gets worse. So. Before I forget, I'm going to smoke out my under eye with my IT Cosmetics, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to smoke out my under eye with my IT Cosmetics number 124 Airbrush Precision Smudger Brush. I have not used this brush in so long. And I'm going to go back into the shade number 8 and just buff it here. 
Okay, then going in with my Sonia, ooh. My contact just floated around in my eye. I'm so sorry. Going in with my Sonia Kashuk number 106, I am going into the shade number four. It's a nice sparkle shade. And just laying that on my eyelid. Okay. Yeah, it's a little muted. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit of Smash Mock, the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water on my brush. Dip back in and try that. That's better. I don't want it to be crazy in your face, but you know, I'd like some sparkle. Okay, now. I don't trust myself to use liquid eyeliner and follow this line, so I am going to make some eyeliner with this eyeshadow. So I'm going to go in using my Luxie 221 flat definer brush, spray some photo finish primer water on it, and then I am going to dip into the shade 12, which is this black shade, and I'm just going to make some eyeliner out of it. Then using the Real Techniques Precision Liner Brush, spraying that guy, dipping back in and just using it to make my wing. Okay, not bad, but even that, I can screw up. So let me throw on some mascara, wrap this up, and then give you my final thoughts. All right, I am back and I am a little bit torn about this palette. I like the look. It did take a bit of work to get here. You know, the first two shades I used, the transition and the crease shade, took some building up, but they are pretty light shades. This chocolate shade here was awesome. The black shade was had a ton of fallout. The shimmer shade, you know, I had to use the Photo Finish Primer Water to build up a bit better, which isn't the end of the world. If I'm trying to play devil's advocate here, if you want a starter palette and you don't want to pay like 30, 40, a ridiculous amount of money to try a palette, I think this is a decent one. However, I feel like you can get a wet and wild color icon quad for like $2.99 and then they have a bigger one for $4.99. So I feel like those are definitely better than this. So if we're talking about drugstore, what you're getting for the price, I don't think this is too amazing, but that is just my opinion. Definitely go out and try it, see for yourself what you think, and just don't kill me if you love it. If you love it, continue to use it. I'm going to continue to use it, it just, you know, it took a little time. This is definitely not something where you can put on really quick and run out the door. So if you've got the time, try it out. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Now go have yourself an awesome day.